We should not be competing between the Germans and Japanese and Japanese and Chinese and Taiwanese and Koreans in the solar atmosphere. We should be competing with the oil companies. We should be competing with other traditional fossil fuel generators like coal mining companies in China. I'm from China, I know how dirty the air is in Beijing is these days. I think we're hitting the point where the U.S. can't afford to give that time anymore. We're, we're beginning to feel that we can't afford to be on the losing end of such a critical trade relationship that creates big trade tensions that are being felt throughout Washington. We're moving from a period of what we've seen to be pretty uniformly secular growth. You know, the industry grows year over year over year to an era that is definitely, you know, a cyclical downturn. We are moving into, you know, a, a, an, an industry dynamic that is more representative of, of mature industries like the semiconductor industry. And this is pretty much the first sort of, you know, uh, cyclical uh, uh, cycle that, if, if I may, that, that we've, we've entered into in, in the industry's history, in the, in the recent past at least. And, 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 and what do manufacturers in mature industries do? They're very sensitive to business cycles. Um, you know, they, they, they're very sensitive to cur cur you know, curbing utilization rates during down cycles. And what we're going to get from here on outwards is we are going to get business cycles. We are going to get upswings and downswings in profit margins. We continue to see costs actually declining. So this is a little bit of positivity. Sometimes we have to step back and recognize what we're doing. I mean, we are changing not only the energy industry, but we're changing the world. And, and we're on the cusp of making that happen. And how many times in your life are you going to be able to do something like that? And so, you know, that's the kind of thing that really gets me fired up about where we are and where we're headed. And there's a Chinese saying that says that as long as the direction is correct, the goal doesn't have to be specific. And that's really, I mean, think about our industry again. We know that we're headed in the right direction. But where we're ultimately going to land, we don't really know what that looks like yet. But we're headed in the right direction. You know, one of the things that's, that has been lost in the last couple of years is we started all of this because people want it. People were concerned about global warming. Remember that conversation? Remember the fact that people were concerned about security and, and uh, fuel prices? That was part of this initiative. You don't even hear those discussions anymore. It's now all about subsidies. But most people think about solar, and they think about that ugly rectangle sitting on top of their roof. And there are better ways to do it. And we're trying to get that mindset changed so that people start to think about wanting this.